photo story is an easy and exciting way for you to tell a story. The process for creating a story will be demonstrated in the following five steps. We will import photos, we will add titles, custom motions, we will add background music, and last we will show you how to render your story. So the first thing you need to do is open up photo story and you should be looking for an icon like this. Once you double click that, this is what you should be looking at. We're going to select begin a new story and click next. So the first step is to import your pictures. To select more than one photo, you are going to hold the control button on your keyboard, select the first one and all the photos that you want or control shift to select all of them and then click OK. Now it doesn't matter what order they come in because you will have the option to just drag and move that photo wherever you want it. If you want to remove black borders, That will let you place wherever you want your picture to be shown. It will get rid of all of the black borders around the photo if there are any. I'm going to select yes. And it'll go ahead and just walk you through. I'm just going to say yes to all. Okay, then I'm going to select next. Step two is to add your title. And you do have the option to change your font. Want a little bit bold and maybe a little bit bigger. And you can also change the color. You can change the effect of a photo. Then click next. The next step is to add custom motions. So what we're going to do here is select custom motion. We are going to check the box specify start and end position of motion. You will see dots or handles around each picture. The picture on the left is how the motion will start, and the picture on the right is how the motion will end before transitioning to the next photo.
when you're done adding a motion to your photo, then select go to next picture. Yes. And do the same. You can also add a transition. And you do have quite a few to choose from here. I'm going to go ahead and choose to set the transition duration automatically. I'm going to save and close. Now you also have the option to add your own narration to each slide, to each photo. You do that by pressing the red button here. Black History Month, February 2012. Okay, press the blue to stop and you can preview that narration. Black History Month, February 2012. If you're happy with that, then click the arrow to add your voice narration to the next slide. Once you have finished adding your custom motions and or narrations, then go ahead and click next. Now you need to add your background music if you wish to. You have two options. You can select music from here, or actually select music is from your own library. So these are songs that you would have if you would like to add your own music. Just like this. Or you can create music with the selections that are provided to you through Photo Story. I am going to choose Jazz. Upbeat, I want the tempo a little slow, a little low. Now let's see how that sounds. If you're happy with that selection, go ahead and select OK. And then click Next. I'm going to save my story for playback on my computer. But you also have other selections here as well. We need to make sure that the settings, the profile for computers, is on this one here, 640 by 480. Select Browse, and we are going to save it to our video library. So make sure that is selected. We are going to title it My Movie Initials and save. Then click Next. We are now rendering the video.
and then select View Your Story. You can select create another story if you would like to create another video or exit. And that concludes the course on Photo Story 3.